In the winter time, uh, we tend to get an increased caseload of people uh, involved in accidents that involve uh, adverse weather conditions when they're abroad. It can include uh, road traffic accidents, accidents on a piste when they're skiing or snowboarding. Uh, they are not always familiar with the rules uh, for that particular activity. So if it's driving, um, it's hard enough trying to drive in England uh, and Wales uh, when the weather is uh, is poor but if you're in a different country and the cars are driving on a different side of the road and you're driving a vehicle where the wheel is on the other side of the car then uh, the differences can obviously increase the risk of an accident uh, and that can lead to uh, injuries and losses sustained. If you are the sort of person who likes to plan for your holiday then um, it's of paramount importance that you do get the absolute basics, so get your travel insurance and get your European health insurance card. Uh, different travel insurance policies cover you for uh, different types of activities. Uh, if you're going away for a relatively uh, low activity based holiday then uh, a simple insurance might suffice, but if you are going to uh, do something a bit more adventurous such as uh, skiing or snowboarding or base jumping or parachuting then you might need to double check the terms and conditions of the policy that you're purchasing because some policies don't provide cover for certain activities and if something goes wrong you want to be sure that you are definitely covered. First and foremost you've got to make sure that you are safe and you don't put yourself and others in, in harm's way. Um, whether that includes calling the, the uh, emergency services or um, notifying somebody who uh, is responsible for the area that you're in, so a piste, um, you might go to the, the reception, if it's, an, if it's a road traffic accident you might need to call the police. Um, gather as much documents and evidence as you can because although you might not think that, you, uh, uh, that someone else was liable, it might be the case that there is a claim in that particular jurisdiction because different jurisdictions allow for different claims in different ways, in, in ways that are different to that of the United Kingdom. If after an accident you might think that somebody is responsible for the claim, then it might be a good idea that you give us a call and we can go through what happened, what documents you've obtained, um, and uh, the travel litigation team at Slater and Gordon uh, has a network contact of lawyers who can assist us in various countries.